Tips on loading. Yeah. Well, first thing you want to do is put these jack stands under here. Because when you don't have them jack stands under there and you put that heavy machine on the back of this, it lifts that whole truck up. I learned that the hard way. I didn't learn that the safe way. I learned it the hard way. Other things when hooking the trailer up are cross, you see how you chains across here? Always cross the chains. Because when you're, if something was to happen, worst case scenario, and your hitch comes loose from your tongue, your hitch will fall down and rest in them chains. So it'll keep it kind of to the truck, might save somebody. And always make sure your pin here. Make sure this is in the back. Whoa! <laughs> make sure this is all the way in the back position with the pin in. If the pin ain't in, then it can move up. If it moves up, it comes off. Then your pigtail, this cute little thing here, controls your lights. Always make sure your pigtail's in position and working and operating. Good to go. What's the purpose behind having the ratchet on the driver's side? You want the uh, yeah. actual yeah, ratchet right. part yeah. on the driver's yeah. side yeah. so that if for whatever reason it snaps, you can see that it snaps. Because I can see it in my side mirror. Um, so when I'm driving down the road, I'm constantly checking like, okay, the strap's still there, the strap's still there. If you just have the hook on this side and that ratchet breaks on the other side, that hook isn't necessarily gonna go anywhere. So everything that's holding it tight and together is in that ratchet part of the strap, this part right there. So that's why you want, I hope that makes sense. That's why you want that on that side. Just in case, it's not often that anything like that happens. It's never happened to me, but there's always the possibility. We put tarps on the top to keep uh, keep all our brush or any debris from flying out of the truck, hitting any cars or anything, or falling out and hitting anything on the side of the road. So when we first came here, the beeswax was doubled up on this side and we realized that it would look better on that side with the uh, rock barrier as well. So we took one layer from over here and put it over there and then made this layer one 